Aha, caught ya. <laughs> now what you doing? We've got a strimmer for that, you know. Yeah, but I can't use it properly and I take all the edges off and then it looks worse than this. <laughs> so you're going around on your hands and knees with a pair of scissors. Yeah. Trimming the edge. As I always do. Right. Getting the weeds as I go, look. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to offer to help then? Well, I would, but I'm working. Oh, you look like it. It's dinner time. Got to, have a, <laughs> got to have a break. You have. That's not cutting the edges, that's pulling out grass. That's pulling the weeds out, look. Right, I bought you a tool for that years ago. I don't know where it is. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> so you're going to cut the grass in a minute, I take it? Oh well, yeah, in a bit. Right. Yeah, that's why I'm throwing it all on there, because then it'll go up the mower. Go up the mower? Yeah, the moral will take it into its bag thing, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know all the technology, don't you? Don't all the terminology. Oh, no. oh well, enjoy. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Ted. Well, Ted's going to eat it all for you, so you don't need to oh, mow I it now. I to do the mowing then. Yeah, but if we got a goat, we'd have to cut it. Mm. Ted, you're going to be right in the way now. You aren't wouldn't you? have to cut it, you wouldn't have a lawn left. No. Because they rip it to bits. <laughs> Shift your eyes, Ted. Good lad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, carry on. Oh, yes, sir. I'm glad you're here. I'm we might not. have some jobs. Right. <laughs> you know, we thinned this out a little while ago, just a few weeks ago. That? Yeah. You still can't see what's there. And I'm just not happy with it. I think we've got too many plants. So I think I'm going to have to go on a cull. I won't throw them. They will be given to other people. So all these years I've been buying your plants and now you're trying to dig them well, up? Not all of them. Some of them don't do brilliantly in our garden and others are my favourites. So the favourites will stay as long as they work. And then the other ones, like that lemon balm, it's just taking over, it's far too big. That's in the trough, isn't it, in the bed. That's got to go. I think I'm going to either have to donate my 20s plumbago. I've got two others in the garden, so it won't matter. So that you can see the dahlia and what's underneath it and I don't know whether I might move the choice here as well the uh, lime green at the back apart from that everything's fine well <laughs> it's not because you can't see my hydrangea and look at it it's in full bloom and you can't see it and yeah two or three months ago that was all was thinned tiny, out it yeah. yeah well this is not raining Oh, makes a change. And we've got some blue skies until things first happen. Time in a while, isn't it? <laughs> but I mean, look at all the back. There's a rose. There's a pot. There's a fern. There's a. What, laurel? No, no, no it's not a no. laurel. Is it? Oleander, that's what it is, oleander. I mean, you can't see that now either. But it's come back with a vengeance, look. And this, 
Looks like a weed. It does. It's not. It's something that I planted. I just can't remember what it is, but it will flower soon. But it looks like uh, cannabis. Oh. <laughs> What's down there? It's, uh, begins with S. Not a Veronica. The other one that looks similar. It looks like one of them. Right. Salvia. <laughs> yeah. But it, that was a great big bushy thing, and the taller it got, they just kept getting snapped off because we've got a cat that comes in and out of this bit, and I think it snapped them all off. So I probably need to put something around that to um, protect it. But now I know it gets that tall, it needs to go at the back somewhere, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to shut up. And yeah. It's pointless trying to resist this. I know. What, this, what, you, what are you doing with that sleeper down bad. there anyway? Well, how come that's ended up down there? Because there was a gap. <laughs> right, okay. So it won't, it probably won't stay there, but yeah. So this bit here isn't too bad. The daisies I don't like, but you like them, don't you? So. Well, they're, they're okay when they flower, but when they get to that point, they look yeah, a bit look rubbish, a to be honest. Them, yeah. They look like dead sunflowers. Yeah. <laughs> now, roses. I'm not doing very well with roses. I only ever get one bloom at a time. So to me, they're not worth it. Well, I would it say that could, probably wants chopping right back. It was, it was chopped right down to ground level, about six inches at the beginning. And it's put on all that growth this year. Hmm. Yeah, so I did say, if you don't perform, you're going, didn't I? <laughs> I don't like this, I don't like laurel. Right. <laughs> that might have to go. Yeah, if it goes, then um, be very careful. Yeah, we know. But those people that don't know, uh, laurels contain cyanide. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're somebody you don't like, they're handy. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to keep your health, yeah. don't uh, don't put them in a confined area or set fire to them because you will get cyanide. Yeah. yeah. This bit, I don't know what it is. I'm very tempted to take everything apart from the olive and your monkey puzzle tree and your bamboo out, everything else out, apart from the oleander, and put all of our hostas in there. Because look how well that one's doing. Yeah, but that's in a pot. It is. That one did all right, but I need to get on top of keeping because they keep getting eaten. That's the only reason. But they're behind things again and you can't see them. So, I don't know. Again, that rose, that did have a few more flowers on it. But it's not grown. So, and it's got black leaves. Ugh. Yeah. It's not looking great, is it? But have you seen the new growth on your monkey puzzle? Yeah, but considering that's what twenty something years old. Yeah, it didn't come very well. <laughs> I um, I've seen other people cut the bottom branches off so that you can actually plant underneath them. Oh, because it is a tree, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. I hacked that olive right back at the beginning of the season, and look at it now. Have we got the olives though? No, no oh, we olives. Didn't even get any flowers? That's coming out then. <laughs> How long's that been in there? Since we got here, isn't it? Dad gave us it. Yeah, so, and the hydrangea, one flower. One flower this year. Well, that ain't necessarily because of what you're doing, it's because of other things yes. in the atmosphere. Chemicals being put in the sky. <laughs> this bit over here is not too bad because I've raised your tree. My unruly bush. Your unruly bush, yeah. So I took the bottom branches off so you can actually see what's there now. Right. Oh, Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, so the grass, just there, I want out. I don't like them. And they take over. There's also one that side as well, just there, look, I want that out. Right. I just don't like them. Right, I do. Uh, and they take over. Uh, well, I'll put one in a pot for you if you like. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Yeah? <laughs> well, I 
can if you want. If you're that, if you're that attached to your grass, we'll put it in a pot. But look. <laughs> Resistance is futile. <laughs> That's a rose. One. It had one before, up there, and it died. And now it's got another one. Just one at a time, it's ridiculous. So, I think the roses are going. That conifer needs to go. What conifer? That conifer. That's not a conifer. It's a conifer. It's not. It's a conifer. Well, it was bought as one of them <laughs> um, Italian pencil cypress trees. Yeah, Pink I bet things. if I touch it, I'll come out in a rush. Yeah, I bet you will, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it is a juniper and you're allergic to those, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, well, um, that's not going anyway, so you don't need to touch it. <laughs> yeah. This side's not quite so bad. It's just that bit. Does my head in. Right. Yeah, so there you go. That's what I might do. A few <laughs> plants to go, a few plants to move, a few projects. <sighs> I'm too old for all this. Yeah. <laughs> and you're too old to help me, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get the garden oh, there you want it, and three months later you change it all again. Have you shown everybody all the colour on the patio? Let's go and have a look. Go on, Let's go and have a look. You're not eating your carrot then, Ted? What are you doing, Ted? Ted likes his carrot, and he's just... He's playing games at the moment. He likes you to chase him because he thinks that you're going to take it, and then he hides it. So they're going to pull that to bits now as well then? Well, some of them have gone over. It just produces more blooms then. <laughs> Look at my cactus daily. I thought we was looking at this lot first. Oh, go on then. <laughs> These have gone over now, my lilies, so that pot really needs to be put outside. Mm -hmm. The dahlias have done brilliant. Mm. The hoster hasn't. No, it, and that's in a pot. It's, it's been eaten. Yeah. So what else do you want to look at? Let's show the punters what else you want them to look at. <laughs> My cactus down here, because that's new to me this year. Oh. Yeah, it's been attacked by the weather. <laughs> Snails, I think, or slugs. Nah, it's all that yeah, um, wind and rain oh, we've well, had lately. Be. Yeah. So is this. I mean, look, it's been ripped to shreds. Yep. I think that was the wind and smashing it against the, yeah. Yeah. Now two plants here I'm not happy with. This dahlia hasn't flowered this year. And my arum lily hasn't flowered, nor has the one in the garden. They've not been treated any differently. Not even anything coming. Yeah. Maybe it's just a bad, bad year for lilies this year, maybe. It'll have to go. It'll have to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one had quite a lot of yellow. Yeah, it's still got some flowers at the back. Yeah. That's a calla lily though, this one, where that one is an Aran lily. Yeah. Not bad at all. Mm. Look at your coleus. <laughs> your coleus. Look at your washing. <laughs> yes. That's uh, put on a good show this year. It has. Hasn't it, Ted? Do you approve? Yes, yes, he does. Oh, my box, look. Yeah, it's dying back. Oh, something's had that. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if that's not that um, moth that gets them. Oh. Could well be. Yeah, this I want out, and that might be a right pain to get out. Right. We'll take that... this out as well, because this didn't do anything this year. Oh, they're drooping. Keep your arm out of the way. <laughs> I know, they are. I think they're over. Mm. I'll tell you what can go. Me? No. What? That smelly plant at the, big, oh, at the, at the front. front of the house. I took a lot of the, um... we've, we've got a plant. Oh, mind well, you, Ed. eating plants and I've... Um... <sighs> Teddy, I've sprayed them. We're weak, you know. You're an idiot. Let's go at the front. Right, let's go, and, let's go and look at this plant. I'll be there in a minute. I've got to get rid of these. Right. Yeah, so this is the planter that was put in a few months ago and it's took really well and it's pushed out really well and you can't get this on video because we don't have smell-o-vision but 
We parked the car just here, or we parked both cars on the drive, yeah, our newish drive, that's say I'll sit in there. And the problem being, when you go past this, you know that smell of burnt diesel? Well, these horrible things smell of burnt diesel. And I thought for days that the car had a problem, like an exhaust leak or something like that, only to find out it's your stinking plants. My geraniums. <laughs> Yeah. Does it still smell if you stand there? Right, let me have a smell. Let's put the punters in. Have a smell. Can you smell it? Oh god, yeah, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not happy with that. Right, so it won't be geraniums yeah. next year then. No. Okay. You sure it's not that? It's one? I don't know what it is. It's I've never grown that before. It's something oh, I think it's this. It's smell something that. I don't want to smell it. It stinks. It smells of burnt diesel, which to me isn't a pleasant smell. These don't smell, I think it's this. Right. Well, yeah. whatever, oh, I can smell it from here. And the trouble is my office is up, up there and I work from home a lot. And when the wind is open this time of year, I get a waft of that every now and again. And every time I walk past it, I get a waft of it and it absolutely stinks. Oh, it's a shame because it's lovely. It's lovely. It looks very nice. Yeah. It's filled out a treat, but it yeah. absolutely stinks. <laughs> It does look as if it's going over now though, mm. so it is only It's going over the bleeding fence if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think that'll do. Yeah. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs>